Hey my people, TGamer64 here, welcoming you to another episode of Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne Blind. So, in the last episode we got through the uh, beginning of the portion of the game, or the beginning portion of the game, uh, where uh, the world ended. Great way to start the game, right? Uh, but yeah, the world ended and now we are uh, embedded with, the, with demonic power. We are known as Demi Fiend. Or, in this case, uh, just Ma. Just Ma. Either way, um, we came from that way and that way leads to nothing. Where we want to go is over here. Is there anything over here? No. Spirit. What does a demon like you want? I'll hear you heal your wounds, so please don't eat me. The soul healed you. I'll heal your wounds anytime, so don't eat me, please. Oh, okay, that's nice. Uh, oh, there we go. I mean, there's hasn't been any random encounters yet, so I don't see the point. Um, so there's a few things to explain, I suppose. So in the top left corner, you'll see like a little shiny thing, and it says full. That me, that is a um, a it's like a, the phases of the moon, basically. So it'll cycle through as the days go on, and I believe uh, each phase has like different effects. So like full moon, I think demons are just like more powerful. So yeah. Try not to buy bosses on full moons. Pretty much is what I'm saying here. Uh, sorry. Okay. Who are you? Yet another demon after Magatsuchi. Suhi. Suhi. Magatsuhi. I don't know. Don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's whatever. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's not much has gone on since the last episode. We pretty much started up in the same place that we left off. Uh, however. I've done a little bit of research, uh, mostly into the different Magatama we can get, and I have determined that I'm going to worry about what kind of build I'll be going for later. As of right now, there's no real reason for me to uh, worry about what kind of build I'll be going for. Although there are certainly uh, a lot of Magatama I do want to get. so. There's a strange force behind the door, and the... I don't know what's going on here. Are we can get into a fight? No. We are not getting into a fight. We are, in fact, getting into uh, a strange place, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, this place looks rather strange. As, uh, uh, I, I believe housekeeping needs to get in here and uh, clean this place. Hello? A voice that goes in your head. Come. Show me the strength of a demon. What? The old man and the woman disappeared. I mean, we obviously, like... That, that old man was the child that we saw earlier that gave us the, um... The what's it is. The what's it is, yeah. You see a cachet cube, will you open it? Yeah. Oh, we got some medicines, that's nice. Oh, come, come, don't do this to me. That... Oh, it's empty. Okay. That's neat. I don't know why the camera does that, but whatever. Either way, we're going to get into a random battle now. So, um, if you've never played an SMT game before, it's essentially a, uh, basically it's a turn-based RPG, uh, with recruiting mechanic, with monster recruiting mechanics. You can recruit monsters, uh, by talking to them and negotiating with them. So, I don't know if we can do that in this fight, but we definitely can do it. Uh, so this is a Will-O-Wisp he wants to eat, apparently. And he's... Been pretty cool, uh, but did not work as well as it worked as well as he had hoped. He wants to eat as well, so he's also going to be doing that now. Um, something important to note: um, if you attack a monster, uh, obviously we just have the attack and pass command. Um, if we attack a monster and we use a monster and we use a monster's weakness, uh, we will get an extra turn out of it. So, like, if this monster was weak to physical attacks. Um, we would, uh, get a second turn out of it, pretty much. Maga Sushi. Or Tsuhi. I don't know. Again, I, I have no idea. So we're just gonna keep going in and pounding at the enemies until they die. Because they're not gonna do much damage to us anyway, so there's no point. Get a nice crit. Oh, and, uh, we also get a, a second turn when we get a critical as well. Uh, there's gonna be multiple ways for us to abuse this system, uh, later on in the game. 
All right, so now that we have uh, that we leveled up, we can customize our stats. So we can put uh, any points that we want and any of the stats we want. I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking we're gonna want more magic for right now. Physical attack is definitely gonna be important for right now because the only Magatama we have is physical based. So I'm during these uh, first few level ups, I'm probably gonna be focusing a lot more on physical than magic. Uh, however, later on I might start delving into magic because I want to show off like everything I can really. Um, but obviously I'm not gonna try to 100% the game. If I happen to, I happen to. It's just how it is. So this is Doctor Dark apparently. By my master's orders, I'll treat your wounds. Dr. Dark heal your, healed your party. Nice. Um, don't know why, well, I guess, I guess I, I guess I did take a little bit of damage. Whatever, you know. Oh, and here's another fight. Now, okay, yeah, we still can't actually do anything, but this is a haunt preta. Now, also, another thing about this game is, uh, demons, uh, belong to different, um, families, I guess. They're kind of like, um, so, like, let's say this is an M-type enemy, and an uh, enemy that looks sim similar to him would also be an M-type enemy, basically. And they'd be of the same family. Um, now, that's not going to be necessarily how it works all the time. Uh, however, that's going to be very important later on for using demons. The only reason I know all this is because I have played uh, the Persona, series, Persona 3 and 4, as well as Sh I've played a bit of Shin Megami Tensei 4, and I've played a little bit of this game. So I do know a little bit about the series in general. Um, Persona 3 and 4 being significantly easier uh, than the uh, core SMT series. Uh, for sure. So. Now, still just going to go through this area pretty much. No biggie. Um, but if we get anything too major going on, I might go back to Dr. Dark and heal this way the old man and the woman disappeared well that's just lovely oh, don't do that so okay, no so okay here we go so there's gonna be more okay so yeah here we go so the, the will o belong to the Fowl family and these Kodamas belong to the Jirai family I do believe the Kodamas are actually weaker than the maybe they're not huh I thought they were. Oh well. That should one or not. Okay, so they are we ow. Okay, I should get rid of the Kodama like ASAP. Because they they were actually doing a bit of damage that was not fun. Yeah, I might actually have to go back to Dr. Dark. Uh to heal. Cause damn. Or me uh no I won't go up. Oh well. But I got a mess and I can just use that to heal real quick. So using items is just like how you'd use it in any other RPG. Just go to the menu, use an item, easy. Switch your party like this. Uh, you can look at your Magnetamas here, you can look at your status. Uh, you can go to the config menu. There's a load menu, there's a load menu which is really nice. Love when games have a load menu. You can take a look at your current skills. All sorts of things you can do here. And here's a nice little cube here that we want to open. We get a Maragi Rock. Ah, oh, Mar that'll actually be really good. So, um, instead of skills or like spells being named like normal things like fire, ice, or whatever, um, everything's. I believe Agi is Japanese for fire. I think. So they're all kind of named like Japan. They're all kind of named Japanese. So Maragi is uh light fire damage to all enemies and uh, we'll see lot, lots of different things we'll see like uh, Agidine, Bufudine, um, there's the uh, what is it, Megidolon, all those sorts of spells we'll, we'll, we'll see all sorts of things here um, now, oh I can't talk, okay I wasn't actually sure if I could oh the demon is ready for, okay huh. that's what happened, you can talk to it, you can talk to demons and uh, if they don't like you, they will hit you, and it is not pleasant for anyone. Um, and in fact, I really am kind of regretting talking to them now. But oh well, no big deal. We just keep going, 
And uh, we'll level up after this fight. So, oh, earn, you know, you can miss. That also works. Missing will happen a lot in this game, as you'll come to find. Um, you'll, you'll get pretty screwed over sometimes. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want five points in magic before I start leveling up my fizz or my strength for physical attacks. Ah, uh, ooh. I thought you got healed after leveling up. I guess you do not. Oh. I wonder if I can... Can I make... I don't think any battles are going to occur, right? I doubt it. Right? 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 Dr. Dark's right over here. I should be fine. Right? Right? Right. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. Wasn't sure. I actually was not sure if I would be okay. Control... Oh, God, I forgot. Walking around as uh, Demi Fiend is very slippery. It feels very weird. Um, but I'll get used to it eventually. It's fine. I'm using... I'm very much used to playing action games right now where the uh, character movement is very tight. So... Yeah, feeling uh, just an RPG character walking around is, uh, is a little weird. A little weird. So a voice is echoing in her head now. So, you made it. Your strength is outstanding. We shall meet again soon. So yeah, the old man was the kid that we had earlier who inserted the parasite in us. So yeah, it's lovely. Uh, so this is the hospital. And we have arrived... Uh, back in the basement, actually. Now, if we go up to the first floor here... I don't... remember if there's anything special. Oh, actually... No, there's probably special shit that's going on down here, now that I think about it. Hello? What? Chiaki? Isamu, you say? I don't know anyone by that name. Oh, okay then. The exit is just as you perceive it. Were you trying to leave the hospital? Yeah? Then how about next door? This is the main building, but there's an annex. Maybe you could use that entrance. That's fair. But, uh, why won't it let me out? Just like, oh. That's a pretty good reason, I suppose. Uh, okay. So... That's the elevator, right? No, wait, that's a door. There's a door to lead that leads to not freedom. Okay, that place is closed off. That place is closed off. What is over here? Stairwell. Do not care about the stairwell. Ah, uh, okay. Let me go to the other way actually first. Just to be, just, just to be sure that there's nothing going on here. Nothing at all. Oh, you see, this is why we go over to the other side. Got a cache cube. Put the medicine in it. Nice. Always good, always good. Always good when they're not random, like Final Fantasy XII. I love Final Fantasy XII. I can't, can't. Well, I've never beaten Final Fantasy XII, but I enjoyed, I've enjoyed what I've played of it. There's some demons called Predas making a fuss about wanting Magasushi. Magasuhi is the source of demonic powers. I think I don't know much about it. Well, that's lovely. I could really use some insight into this thing in the back of my neck. And those that are wondering, yes, that is a horn on the back of your neck. I am pretty sure it is the Magatama that was implanted in us. Or whatever. I could be wrong. But I do believe this is the, uh, correct case. Uh, oh, what? Oh, I fucked up. Mobby. Mobby. Uh, no, no, no. We want to go this way. Over here. Ma Magasuhi, Magasuhi. Doors locked. Lovely. And this way leads to the annex, I believe. Right? It does, and there is a pixie. 
I've never seen a demon like you before. Are you looking for something too? Yeah. Hey, about that thing you're looking for. I'll help you if you want. I was looking for something too. A demon who can help uh, me take, take me to Yogi Park. You look kind of flabby and weak, but I'll let that slide. What do you say? Shall we, should we join up? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright then, let's get out of here. If we head to the pa- If we have the pass thingy, we can get through that door into the annex. I saw some Praetors carrying it. I'm Pixie the Fairy. I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Pixie joined her party. Now this is a very special Pixie. Um, we will want to keep her around. She has Dia and Zeo. Uh, Dia is a heal spell, Zeo is the lightning spell. Very useful. Very, very useful. Trust me on this. You do not want to get rid of her. I can promise you she is useful. At least for this first area. Later on, maybe not so much. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna keep going this way. This way leads to the elevator. Which is fine, I don't care about that. Uh. Oh, menu vending machine isn't working. Great. Can't get my sodi pop. Got a cache cube. And some life stones, that's always good. I believe life stones fill, refill, what, 50 HP? Oh, they just restore a slight amount of HP. Heals HP moderately. I'm going to assume that's a percentage. Because that's really good if that's a percentage. <clears throat> and if you couldn't tell, by the way, still getting over the cold. Uh, it'll happen eventually, I guess. Another the security system at the passageway ahead. You need an annex gate pass to get through. Thanks for the information, bastard. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Oh. Camera to Y. Oh, I guess it's not the camera's fault. Uh, oh, there we go. I saw a human at the annex. He's probably dead by now. Eaten by a demon or something weird like that. Wow. I, I don't know... I mean, I guess the presence of a demon would be weird, but like, a human getting eaten by a demon, that's not that weird, man. I, that's kind of expected, honestly. Like, unless it's some really weak demon. Some Dante shit. Uh, some Dante the Animated Series shit, I should say. Like, uh, you know that one demon at the end of the series who was trying to go for ultimate power and then Dante kicked his ass. It was great. Massive spoilers, by the way, for the Devil May Cry anime. Massive spoilers. It's a good anime. I recommend it. I recommend watching it. Yeah, could it be better? Probably. But, uh, yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Good, uh, good strong 7, maybe a light 8. You know? I remember it. Basically. Now... Up here on the roof, is there anything in particular? Nope, okay, so we just go down and back down to the second floor. And I believe we're looking for that room uh, that we were in before. Where uh, the dudes... Where, where The door that was locked, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the door we're looking for. Um. So let me see. This door... No... I think it's the door, it's the door right before the annex, isn't it? So that's over here. I think. Maybe. Not 100% positive. This one? Yeah, yeah, here we go. And they're nappy. Oh, sorry, I was, uh, skipped over the dialogue. She basically said that she's gonna talk to the demons. Me have Magasuhi bring, brought lots. God. Magasuhi. Me eat. Me eat. The door is now unlocked. Alright, they fell for it. You ready? Yeah, sure. How hard could these guys be? Blarg ga Magasuhi. We don't have any Magasuki to give to the likes of you. If you don't want to get hurt, give us the pass thingy. Blarg ga. Magasuhi. These guys are ready to fight. I believe we got to be, they about to get wrecked. 
hard bodied. Ah. Nagasuhi. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, you're always just gonna go after Pixie. That's just wonderful. <laughs> so, um, spells and attacks in this game, like skills, uh, they do not operate like some more normal RPGs. Um, physical skills require HP to use, and even some magic skills, I think, require HP to use. Uh, and magic skills obviously require MP, uh, like some normal RPGs. So lunge here is going to cost 4 HP to use, but it does a lot more damage uh, than just your normal attack. Uh, we have Zeo and Dia. Uh, we don't really need Dia right now. We'll just use Zeo. Because, one, um, Pixie doesn't have a whole lot of physical attack, but magic attack stat is pretty high, and these Praetors are also weak to light. So now, we just kill them. We just do this again. Now you only get one extra turn uh, per, I guess, phase, pretty much. Um, you only get one extra turn uh, if you hit a weakness, I believe. We dodge the attack, that's always good. And uh, let's just hit him. And we are all good. Easy as can be. You obtain the Annex Gate Pass. Hell yeah. Hmm, you're stronger than I thought. But you could get even stronger if you talk to other demons and get them on your side. We got the pass thingy, so let's over head over to Yayogi Park. That is a very fair point. Um, uh, however, I do believe that I'm going to end it off. Not here. But when I'm going to go back down to the basement, grab a save point, and then we'll end it off. So hopefully nothing interesting happens during that time period. Or everything interesting happens. That is also a possibility. Uh, but yeah. I want to off here because it's uh, getting about to be almost 25 minutes long. And uh, I just kind of want to go through it. Go through everything just to be uh, safe. Oh, and there we go. Some interesting shit's going on. So we got some Will-O-Wisps. We got some Kodamas. So let's do some talking real quick. Oh, well, okay then. These bastards can't understand us. Now, I'm pretty sure almost all these guys are basically really weak to Dio. Or Zio. Oh, bastard. Fine. I have to kill him. Kill him first. Uh, pass. We want Zio. There we go. I'm gonna talk to him. See if we can get him to recruit. Let me drain your strength, then I'll listen to you. Sure. We'll give you a little strength. Maybe you'll, uh... Okay. Do it one more time. So these are basically the negotiations that you're going to be going through with demons in order to get them to uh, recruit with you. But yeah, if you got a successful negotiation, uh, they'll be satisfied, and they will come join your party. So Kodama is actually a pretty good de demon, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, and we also have enough slots for four demons, so we, or uh, four party members. So uh, the player character uh, and three demons. Now, see, Kodama here has uh, Gonection, I guess, and Zan. Zan is a force type. Uh, it's basically wind, pretty much. So we're gonna be going for that. Always good, always good. And over here, we're gonna just keep running the enemies. Oh, he's just gonna hit me with on. That's just this straight. Thanks, bruh. Thanks, bruh. Thanks a whole bunch, bruh. Uh, I doubt much going on here. Just hit him. Um, because he can do the most damage, and Pixie can just one-shot. It's not what I wanted to do. Great, I actually wanted to level up from that, so let me actually go ahead and get another fight going. Get one more level up before I leave. If I can. Now you see the little compass in the bottom right? It's flashing different colors. Uh, it goes from yellow to orange to red. 
As it gets redder, that means you have a higher chance of being able to run the counter. So it's kind of predictable in that way, but it's really good also. <clears throat> These bastards are uh, just going in. So Zahn... Uh, are these things weak to Zahn? They are kind of weak to Zahn. Awesome. Zio on you. Hit you. There we go. Let's do a little bit of whacking. There we go. Alright, so we got another level up going. And now we're going to start putting some points into strength. And we learned Analyze. Analyze is going to tell us like demon weaknesses and all that stuff. And as you can see, as we're getting lower and lower in health, our tattoo glowing is going to be going from like blue to red. This is like a light pink, I guess, but it's red basically. So he's going to heal us. And we are all dandy. Now, yeah, I, I didn't think so. So switching between runes does not reset the random encounter thing. But yeah. So now we're back in here. Uh, we can save. Before we save, let's talk to the guy again and see if he has anything new to say. Don't worry about me. Okay, yeah. So he's already said everything he needs to say. So let's just save. And then we will sign off for the night. Alright, there we go. Awesome. Alright, well, I hope you guys you guys enjoyed this episode of Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne Blind. My name has been TGamer64. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay solid.